Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing tonight? Kyle here with another video. And tonight what I wanted to talk to you guys about is this poll that I ran a few weeks ago and my thoughts on the results and sort of my take on what I want to do moving forward. And the poll that I essentially sent out was asking if you would guys rather see videos on the basics of astronomy and astrophysics at sort of a non-science major level or a video series on the mathematics needed for physics and then apply it to different concepts in physics and we'd sort of go in a progression of difficulty. Now, I looked at the results of this and it ended up being 60-40 in favor of the mathematics for physics. And after I saw this, I sort of realized what I wanted to do for the channel. And in essence, I wanted to undermine democracy based on the results of this poll because I really wanted to start making videos on astronomy and astrophysics. Don't get me wrong, I was really sort of torn between the two. I really wanted to do both. And this is not to say that I won't be able to do both moving forward in the future or just do both simultaneously. But I do really feel that astronomy and astrophysics videos are much, much harder to find on YouTube than uh, mathematics videos and I thought what I would do in this video is as a way of sort of you know making it up to you guys that I might be undermining the democracy of this poll I wanted to give you guys a couple of channels on YouTube that I've personally used in the past that I have used to study for my classes when I was both an undergraduate and a graduate student and to give you guys an idea of who is out there and who makes really really good math content that has helped me in my own physics education because I want to be able to point you guys in the direction of good channels that have uh, mathematics on them that will be useful in your physics or astronomy education. So without further ado, let's just go right into the first channel that I would recommend. The first channel that I would recommend is Patrick JMT. Now Patrick JMT is a legend on YouTube. He was one of the first major education YouTubers I can remember and Patrick is the reason why I essentially did super well in my calculus classes. Like if you go to his playlist and you find his calculus playlist, let me try and pull it up here for you guys. The playlists uh, on calculus one, two, and three, these three playlists right here are the reason why I got A's in all these three calculus classes when I was in college. Like I would literally just watch and binge his videos before an exam. Like, imagine you binging a Netflix series like Queen's Gambit or something. It's a good show. Check it out if you haven't already. But I would essentially do that, but with his videos before an exam. And I would I would essentially ace the exam because I watched his videos. So really, really, really great content. Goes over problems. I think that's like the most important thing with any learning you have to do a lot of problems and he also does videos on linear algebra and uh, a little bit on differential equations as well like these subjects are all sort of cornerstones of introductory physics and upper division undergraduate physics courses so being able to handle the stuff that are in these videos is absolutely essential and i would super super highly recommend checking out this stuff out if you are struggling with these concepts. The next channel that I want to highlight is Dr. Chris Tisdell. Now, Dr. Chris Tisdell makes videos in a similar style to Patrick JMT, but some of the topics that he covers are at a bit of a higher level than Patrick JMT's. So his partial differential equations playlist is one that I really like, and that's a concept that Patrick JMT I don't think has gone over, at least when I watched him, he didn't have any videos on it. and a lot of the videos on Dr. Chris Tisdale's channel, again, are also supplemented with a lot of example problems, which is extremely useful when you are trying to learn some of these advanced concepts. Like partial differential equations is essential if you want to study like advanced electromagnetism or quantum mechanics. You definitely need to know partial differential equations. He also has a bunch of other concepts here that are at a bit of a higher level than the stuff you find on Patrick's channel. So I would recommend first watching all of Patrick's videos, making sure you've mastered that, and then moving on to Dr. Chris Tisdale's channel. And also check out the next person I'm going to recommend to you guys, which is Faculty of Khan. Faculty of Khan is not Khan Academy, because that confused me when I first found his channel, but he has a very, very interesting set of videos that focus a lot on concepts that you see in physics courses. And he even has playlists that cover subjects in physics, like quantum mechanics, analytical mechanics, 
calculus of variations, which goes with analytical mechanics, and then also the quantum mechanics mathematical basis. So this is very, very, very useful for anyone who wants to go into a physics, you know, class at the upper division level. And, oh, I even see differential geometry and tensor calculus here, which are the underpinnings of general relativity. I didn't even see those videos yet. I might have to check those out. But as you can see here, these are very, very oriented towards a physics-minded individual. And I would definitely recommend watching his stuff before you go into like a class on quantum mechanics or a class on analytical mechanics. I think it could definitely give you a leg up before you take on these subjects. If I'm remembering correctly, I don't remember if he goes over a lot of examples. I don't think he does, but I think he goes mainly over concepts, but I could be wrong. It has been a while since I've watched his stuff, but nonetheless, it is, ex it is still extremely useful uh, for you to know some of this content. And now I'm looking at some of these playlists and I'm like, oh man, I gotta watch some of these myself. So definitely check out Faculty of Khan when you have the chance. On a side note, the only reason why I'm not recommending Khan Academy is because I haven't actually used Khan Academy myself to learn math. I think I saw Khan Academy just have a lot of different videos and a lot of different subjects. And I just wanted to find channels that really sp specifically honed in on certain subjects like in math, which is why I found Patrick's channel, Dr. Chris Tissel's channel and etc. So no knock against Khan Academy, it's just I haven't personally used them myself, so I can't really recommend them uh, to you if I haven't done so myself. So last but not least, I want to bring up 3Blue, 1Brown. I don't think his channel needs any introduction, but I'm still going to give it one because if you haven't found his channel yet, you really, really need to find this channel because this channel is amazing. His mathematical animations are just absolutely beautiful and He's made series like Essence of Linear Algebra, Essence of Calculus, Differential Equations. I've watched all of these videos and I had already, in my mind, thought I had mastered all of these different concepts. And I gave a watch and it really made me look at these subjects in a completely different way. I'm not a very visual learner, as some of you guys may know. And seeing some of these visualizations just, I'm not gonna lie, I almost kind of brought a tear to my eye because it was just so beautiful to see math just presented in this way, which I know has attracted so many uh, viewers and people who thought they never really would be into math and now they really like math because of what 3Blue1Brown has done. So I cannot just, I cannot say enough about how good his stuff is. So definitely check him out and I cannot recommend him anymore. So that is it guys for my recommendations for math on YouTube. I hope you guys find this useful. I'll put the links to all of their channels in the description. And if I missed anyone who you think is worth mentioning in this list, please leave a comment below and point other people in the direction of other good resources out there. I don't think there can ever be too many resources for math on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and I wish you luck in the best of your math and physics education. And I will be seeing you guys in the future with a video series on astronomy and astrophysics hopefully sometime i'm kind of bogged down at the moment but look forward to that in the future and stay safe everyone have a good one